Hey everyone, it's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are doing a full face of makeup from TJ Maxx. I have a ton of stuff in this bin that I have been saving up. So if you wanna go ahead and see what products I have and how this look is gonna turn out, then just keep on watching. All right guys, hair is pulled back, so it's time to get into it. First up is of course primer. I have two different primers here. I'm debating on which one I should try, so let me just walk through what I've got. So the first one I have is the Urban Decay. This is the Elliptical Illusion Primer. This is a complexion primer, smoothing rose hip in argan oil, pore perfecting. Uh, let's see, it says instantly blurs flaws as you perfect and smooth your skin. Optical illusion reduces fine lines and makes pores seem to vanish. For a gorgeous porcelain-like texture, makeup not only goes on better, but also lasts longer. Our cushiony formula contains optical blurring pigments along with conditioning ingredients like rosehip and argan oil. Directions apply all over the skin before foundation or powder. And a clinical study of optical illusion Complexion primer immediately after use. 90% of participants have a reduction in pore visibility. 90% have smoother looking skin. 93% have more even skin tone. 81% have a visible reduction in fine lines and blemishes. That is so many claims. Uh, but I did find this for only $6.99. And this does retail for $36. Um, I think it might be on sale on their website. But this is what the packaging looks like. I just want to put a little bit on my hand. Okay. So it looks like a it's like a pinky tone. It's like a thick cream feeling. Kind of has like an oily almost texture to it, like it's slippery. Doesn't really I don't I almost think of like a I can definitely smell the rose. Maybe like, like a rose clay type of smell. It's interesting. And then the other primer that I have is the Pure Correcting Primer. Hydrate and Balance. This is oil-free and silicone-free. It says the first mattifying oil-free silicone-free formula of its kind. Hydrate and Balance visibly cleans and hydrates for up to, calms and hydrates for up to 72 hours of pure moisture. So let's see. And this was $4.99 and this retails for $33. So these I got at an extremely cheap price. So as you can see, it's still sealed and it looks like it's like a blue color. I'm just gonna put some on the other side of my hand just to see. Ooh, it's kind of cooling. It smells good. It almost smells like the Makeup Hydro Grip. It has like a slight grippiness, but not really, not as intense. Oh, we might have like a dupe on our hands. Mm, I mean, there's not that much. Of, I mean, it's definitely, I feel like there's a grip there and I like me some gripping primers. So I think what I'll do, because I feel like I've been a little bit more dry in like my T-zone area, maybe I'll try, since this is more of like a, a sleek, Maybe I'll try this in like my T-zone and this everywhere else. So let's go ahead and put this on. We're gonna go into this one first. Just gonna grab a little bit here, rub it in between my fingers, and we're just gonna put that there, down the nose, around the mouth. Well, I don't see like a reduction necessarily in redness. I don't have really big pores either, thank goodness, but. Hmm. And then I'll take this one and put this in this area around the forehead. feels very hydrating, like my skin feels hydrated in those areas. 
All right, so moving on to the next product is a foundation. Foundation that I found was the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation. This is a liquid whip long wear foundation. It says it's full coverage, has a velveteen finish, moisture boosting hyaluronic acid, antioxidant rich white birch extract. It says the weightless buildable whipped liquid can be layered from medium to maximum coverage to address both tone and texture. Never dull or greasy skin gets that pro artist velveteen finish that looks perfect, picture perfect IRL on and on screen. Okay. I picked up the shade 1.60W, so I hope this works. This was only $12.99, whereas it originally retails for $40. Um, I think now you can find it on sale for like $20. But this is what the packaging looks like. It's very interesting. If you have a beauty blender, you're supposed to just put it there and like squeeze it on. It's it's definitely more of like a messier, you know, type of contraption, I feel. But you can also lock it or unlock it to use it. So that way, if you aren't using it and you accidentally hit it, I guess, or something, it doesn't get all over the place. But I'm just going to put some on the back of my hand so we can see what kind of shade we're working with here. I'm hoping it's not a bad shade. Okay, it's a little dark. We'll make it work like we always do because I could never get my foundations right. All right, so I'm just going to take my Laura Lee Los Angeles sponge. We're going to pick that up and start dabbing that in. There's like a light fragrance to it, but it's not bad. I honestly don't think this color is that bad either. No, it's not a bad shade. So far, it's blending out pretty well. It is a thick formula. Obviously, my acne has been getting out of hand with mask knee and whatnot. It looks terrible. All right, so I think my foundation actually looks really nice and I'm actually really liking it so far. I'm actually impressed. I think my skin looks really good. I hate, I always hate when I put on foundation before and then my concealer, I'm without concealer in this area and you just see how like dark my eyes look. It makes me look like I'm dead. All right, so now for concealer, I do have two options. I have this Pure Shake and Bake Powder to Cream Concealer, which I've never used before. So we might just see how this is gonna work out. And this was only $5.99, and this tip was retailing for $26 before, and I got the shade Light. And then I also picked up this Pure Quick Draw 4-in-1 Precision Concealer Pencil. This retails for $3.99, and before being at Marshall's, it was $19. So we're just gonna pop these both out and take a look at them because I have no idea what I wanna do. And the Shake and Bake comes with like a baby little blender. All right, so first starting with the pencil, it almost just looks like a liner pencil. And let me just put a little bit on the back of my hand so we can see how it looks. Yeah, it's like a creamy like pencil formula, maybe good for like under the brows or something and then this is such an interesting like contraption like it's powder in here I need to see how this works it says dab a small amount around eyes using the contour blending sponge that's it Conceal and set in one step. This miraculous concealer melts into the skin to mask imperfections and sets a smooth, long-lasting, crease-free finish tip. Can also be used as eyeshadow base. All right, so let me just pop this on open here. Okay, so it's got like a little opening in this like little tube. So let me grab my, I'm just gonna grab my like mixing plate oh geez and pour a little bit out very small amount i'm gonna take my sponge and tap into that 
and then go right underneath the eyes. I also like don't know how much of this you're supposed to use. Okay, that's with it on, that's without it on. I see a difference, but I don't see like a full coverage or anything. I don't wanna overdo this. Add some to the lid here. That's pretty, pretty cool. I mean, before, after. It's, I would say it's like a medium coverage, but this, that's very, very interesting. I thought I was like really scared on how this was gonna work, but this is pretty cool. Definitely not the coverage I would like. I would definitely like something that is lighter. This is matching my skin tone. And I typically like something to brighten underneath there, but so far it's looking pretty, pretty good. I mean, it, it definitely is more light to medium because I still see like the dark circles underneath here. I want to try out this pencil, but like, I feel like this pencil is not meant for like under the eye. Yeah, no, that just broke. Okay. That's not meant for under the eye. Okay, so I think this is interesting. Very interesting. If you're looking for like a light to medium coverage, that might be something that you're into. Um, I need something a little bit more coverage and a little lighter than what that was. And that was in shade light too, so. So I don't have a new powder. So I'm just gonna go ahead and powder my face really quick and then I'll be right back. All right, so now that my face is set, it's time to move into the next product. And I have the Becca Sunsetter Face Palette. This was only $19.99. Now, I don't have it written down here as to what the original retail cost of this for was. I could almost assume it was anywhere between, you know, the $30 and $50 mark. But it was for $19.99. And the packaging is so pretty. So you do get four products in here. We get a bronzer, a blush, and two highlighters. They are shimmery. I'm not a huge shimmery person, but I did swatch this when I bought it. And I'll go ahead and show you guys as well that it's really not that bad. So that's the blush and bronzer, or the bronzer and the blush. The blush is definitely more shimmery, but the bronzer looks more like a satin finish. And then here are the two highlighters. Very, very pretty. I'm not going to use the highlighters in here because I do have um, some other highlighters to try out. So we are just going to use this for the bronzer and the blush. So I'm going to go ahead and pick some up on my brush here. And let's see how this turns out. So far it's blending out pretty nice. There's not like a scent or anything to the palette. And I think this was like a newer release of them. Definitely like has more of like an orangey tone to it. All right, so now that the bronzer is on, we're gonna dump into the blush. So I'm just gonna pick that up. Now, again, I don't really like shimmery blushes because I want to be able to have my highlighter on there too but this is kind of pretty and you know we're getting into the summer months so summer we could be a little bit more glowy yeah definitely a more glowier blush but still a very pretty color so now for highlighters, I did pick up two highlighters that I found. So the first one is this Prismatica highlighter palette by Becca and Barbie Ferreira. I have no idea who that is if I'm being completely honest, but this is what the packaging looks like. Very, very pretty. This was only $14.99 and this does retail for, or it did retail for $42. So then when we open it up, we get 
five highlighters in here and these are what they look like and two mirrors it's very odd packaging but they are very very pretty and then we also i also found the mac selena highlighter this is amazing like i flipped when i saw this and this was only yesterday that i that i found this but the packaging oh my god i fell in love with selena when i was a freshman in high school because i had spanish for the first time ever and we watched selena and i just fell in love and this is the highlighter and I think this is what I'm going to use today because I am just over the moon excited and it comes with a sticker of her. But ever since I watched that movie, of course, Jennifer Lopez did an amazing job. But like I fell in love with her music and I don't even speak Spanish. I don't even know half the things that she's saying, but her it just speaks to me in a way like the music is just beautiful. And I truly love Selena. So this Having this in my collection makes me so happy. So I think this is the one we're gonna go ahead and use. So I'm just gonna take my highlighter brush and we're gonna pop that on the cheeks. Ooh, and it's so pretty. Adds that nice glow. All right, so face is done. I do not have a new bra uh, brow product or a base, so I'm gonna pop those on and I'll be right back. All right, guys, brows are done, base is on. Next is eyeshadow palettes. And I picked up quite a few eyeshadow palettes over the several you know, weeks, month, however long it took me to collect all this. And I don't know what to do. So I'm just gonna show you what I picked up. So. I found these adorable I Heart Revolution uh, Pet Shop Bunny palettes for only $4.99 each. These are so adorable. So I'm going to show you guys what they look like. They do, of course, feel like chibi packaging, but they open like this. If you have not seen my TikTok, I did swatch all of them and they swatched really good. So we have this one, which is Blossom. Then we have this really, really pretty gold one. This is Stardust. This one is like perfect for uh, fall. So pretty. I love this color story. Mm. Maybe I'll play with this one. We'll see. And then I picked up this one, which is called Fluffy. And this one is just very, this is like springtime, very colorful very very pretty these are super super adorable I don't know if those are ones that I want to use today then I also found three of the pure X trolls palettes these were only like $3.99 or $4.99 a piece so this one is classical I also have swatches of these on my TikTok, so make sure to go check that out. Then we have Pop, which is so, so pretty. I love that pink color story. And then we have Rock, which is really, really pretty as well. Also recently just found the Pure X Barbie palette. This was on sale for, or this was on for $12.99. And this is so gorgeous. I have the other Pure Barbie palette that they came out with too. And this is what that color story looks like. Very pretty. Um, it's not really something I think I want to play with today, but let's keep it moving. And lastly, I've never tried Cara Beauty, but I did pick up a couple of her palettes because they were only $4.99 each. This first one is Orange Pop. I love this packaging. Very pretty. I want Purple Haze too. And those oranges are so vibrant. This like screams my name also have these two that I found. This one is La Reina Azteca and it looks like there's a series because it says number three on it but this is what it looks like and this is the color story. Oh, This is the color story. So pretty. I really really like these colors. And then lastly we have number nine which is La Chica Enamorada. I hope that's how you pronounce that. And this one's more like a pink purple color story. And that's what this one looks like. So pretty. I like how you've got neutral vibes over here and then colorful vibes over here. These package, these are also paraben free and cruelty free. 
oh, this is so hard. I have no idea what kind of eyeshadow look I want to do. Like the oranges are very, very pretty, but I've done a lot of orange, pink, and purple looks that I'm thinking I might go ahead and use the Star Dust Bunny because this color story is not one that I use often and it is gorgeous. So I think we're gonna go ahead and dive into this one. All right, so I'm not gonna go through like every shade I use. I'm just gonna kind of point and go. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into this one. All right guys, so this is the final eyeshadow look using the adorable little Makeup Revolution Bunny palette. Absolutely adorable. I love these shades, so gorgeous. This look came out really nice. So I don't have any like mascara, liner, anything like that. So I'm gonna pop that on and then we'll be right back. All right guys, eyes are finished. Everything is looking beautiful. But now the last thing, and now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, this isn't gonna match the eye look I just picked out. But anyway, I picked up three lip liners from Pure. These are their on point lip liners. We have this shade 22, which is a pink shade. And these are really, really nice. So we're just gonna twist those off. They remind me of the Smashbox ones. So that's definitely like a, like a mauve pink color. And then we have the shade Low Key, which is kind of looks like a peachy nude. And these all only retailed for $2.99, which is not bad at all. Actually, this one looks dark. It looks darker than the packaging. That's weird. Yeah, that one looks like darker than what the component looked like. This is the component and that's the, <laughs> this one looks like it matches the first one, but it's not. And then lastly, I picked up the shade Vamp just for something different. And that's that shade. I mean, that might actually look pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty. But the actual lip products that I have are nothing like that. First, I found the Winky Luxe Glazed Lip for only $5.99. This is in Sugar Glaze. Actually, that might look really nice. So let's go ahead and swatch this here. Ooh. 
I don't really smell anything. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, there you go, right there. It's got like pink, purple, blue reflex in there. And then yesterday I found the Jouer X Jeffree Star Longwear Lip Topper with Coconut Oil. I didn't even know this existed. I just saw it and I'm like, there's, I was looking at it and I'm like, oh, this packaging's cute. I looked at the lid and I'm like, that star looks familiar. So I looked back at it and it says Jeffree Star and I was like, and then the stars on the side. And this is in the shade Sweet Tooth. And I was like, I have to have this. This was only $3.99. And this is what the packaging looks like. Such a beautiful pink color. And it's got the Jeffree Star embossed mint on there. I was not expecting to find this at all. And that is so, I mean, that's not going to match this look, but it is such a pretty pink shade. And I'm so happy to add this to my collection. I think what I'll do, do I want to do something dark? Yeah, I think I'll go ahead and line with this and then we're going to put the gloss on top. All right, so I feel like that went on very, very creamy and nice. So now I'm just gonna go in with this gloss on top. I'm about to completely ruin this beautiful clear lid. All right, guys, so this is the final look using uh, products that I got at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. And to be honest, I'm truly impressed. I really liked the foundation, the primer, the eyeshadow worked beautifully. Um, this lip is actually really, really cute. The bronzer, the blush is a little, you know, too glowy for me, but that's just my opinion. And the highlighter is gorgeous. I mean, everything I'm pretty impressed with, except for the Shake and Bake Powder Concealer, just because I don't get it. Um, and it didn't give me the coverage I wanted, uh, but still a pretty cool concept overall. So I'm pretty, pretty happy with everything. Uh, make sure you check up your local TJ Maxx and Marshalls and see what cool brands that you can find at a really cheap cost. And I pretty much everything here, except for the Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palette is stuff that is more of the high end, uh, which is the main reason why I do go to TJ Maxx and Marshalls to find the high end goods. Cause I'd rather spend, you know, those prices than going to a retail store and paying for them. But anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you are new here. Remember 500 subscriber giveaway once I hit that point. Anyway, I hope that you guys have a fantastic day and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. Oh, <laughs>